Welcome to section 2, what is biomimicry? Beginning with an overview of biomimicry and a brief history of the field. The purpose of this section is not only to understand what biomimicry is, but to recognize its practicality and its application in a wide range of fields, but also to find out what biomimicry is not. The word biomimicry comes from the Greek meaning to imitate life. Biomimicry is a practice, meaning you get better at it the more you do it, of learning from nature, not about nature, in order to emulate nature in our designs. When we look to nature with a biomimicry lens, we ask what can we learn from it? What can we learn from a tuna, for example? Well, they're very fast swimmers, and they are highly energy efficient in converting their energy of propulsion in moving them forward, compared to human swimmers, which are only up to 10% efficient. An Australian researcher called Dr. Tim Finnegan said, could we learn from that principle and apply it in the way that we tap energy from currents and waves, but being much more energy efficient in our conversion? And you can see he's done exactly that. This is his lab scale model that manages to achieve high energy conversion efficiency by tapping the energy in waves and currents. He's now formed a company called Biopower Systems to bring this product to market. Similarly, his biowave system, which mimics the way sea fans move in the ocean, taps wave current energy highly efficiently. So you can see how he's managed to learn from nature rather than just about it. Now this biomimicry, or learning from nature, is nothing new. In fact, it's common practice in many native cultures. In fact, biomimicry can be considered an emerging discipline of ancient practice. And although it has emerged a few times in the form of individuals generally considered as geniuses, it has not actually been a formal discipline until now. It began to emerge again as a discipline in the recent past, from about when Velcro was invented, which mimicked the way birds stick to animal fur. And then Janine Benyus wrote the book on biomimicry, and spoke at TED on biomimicry, and that ignited the interest in the field again. Now biomimicry has gone mainstream and you could find over 22 TED talks on the subject, and very many more TEDx talks. Now you can find biomimicry products, processes and systems in almost every single field. For example, as indicated in the market readiness of over 100 bio-inspired products in this publication called Tapping Into Nature by Terrapin Bright Green. The discipline of biomimicry has evolved beyond an academic exercise. It has become an innovation tool that allows companies to develop a new class of products and services. Biomimicry is emerging again as a discipline because of the combination of the sustainability pressures on us with the enabling technologies that allow us to study and copy nature better than ever before. The work of the Biomimicry Institute and Biomimicry 3.8 to educate and enable the practice of biomimicry has been significant in its evolving as a discipline. They are some of the leaders in developing practical tools and methodologies in the practice of biomimicry. They have also been actively involved in seeding a global biomimicry network of practitioners and educators in the field of biomimicry. In addition, there are now many academic and other researchers involved in biomimicry. We now even find the emergence of very specific biomimicry research departments in academic institutions. And biomimicry is now also a formal profession. I was lucky enough to be one of the first graduates as biomimicry professional in 2010. And there have been many more graduates since then. If you want to know what biomimicry is, there are now over 100 books on biomimicry and related subjects. But it's also important to know what biomimicry is not. It's not using or farming nature. It is copying nature's blueprints, recipes and strategies to apply them in our designs. I suggest you pause your screen now and read this table to have a better understanding of what is meant by this. Biomimicry itself ranges from very shallow and unsustainable applications all the way through to deliberate and deep application of the biomimicry methodology to result in sustainable and even regenerative products, processes and systems. In the next section, we'll find out exactly what biomimicry is by exploring case studies of how biomimicry has been applied at the level of form, process and system. In summary, biomimicry is a practice of learning from nature and emulating nature. It is an emerging discipline of ancient practice applied in the sciences and design disciplines. It is now an established field and even a profession. But biomimicry is not using nature or farming nature. It can work alongside sustainable versions of these. In the next section, we'll look at how biomimicry can be applied at the level of form, process and system.